Hey guys, what's up? It's Connor here bringing you another It Is Written. This will be a 31 and 2 TDM on Village. I joined the game a little late, but I hope you guys enjoyed using my ACR with silencer and extended mags. And guys, these series, these videos go by so fast, I can't normally get out what I want to say in the one video. So I'll probably end up doing two videos per subject starting after this one. And what we're going to do today is we're going to compare arrogance versus confidence because for some people people think you're being confident when you're really being arrogant this is just they're they are so complete they're so close to each other yet so completely different at the same time being confident is a major like turn on people like you when you're confident girls like you workers like you people everybody around you likes you when you're confident but then when you're arrogant everyone's turned away from you everyone's like screw this guy he's not he doesn't respect anybody he doesn't care about anybody but himself um, so there's just a huge difference. You want to be confident. Having confidence is great. Arrogance, not so great. Now, one of the main things between confidence and arrogance, well, one of the similar things is you both might be good at something. Now, the worst arrogant people are people that suck at it, but they think they're good, and they go around telling everyone they're good. But for the, we're going to go with, say, some guy, where there's one guy that's really good at basketball and another guy that's really good at basketball. Because I love basketball, so we're using basketball reference here. And the arrogant guy is just going around, you know, he, they're both good and they both know that they're good so that is one that's a huge similarity right there they both know that they're good but the thing is the arrogant person goes out and tells other people is good he doesn't respect anyone else on the team if someone messes up he's just like dude what the heck why'd you do that i anybody could have made that shot or whatever but then the confident guy will be like all right you've got it you've got it go you you'll get it next time you'll get it next time the arrogant person is more he's a lot more self-righteous he's a lot more involved in himself um he he basically just excludes everyone else and he's just like why is anyone else even here i'm just the best one here where a confident person he's like yeah i know i'm the best i know i'm i know i'm the best player out in this court but i'm not gonna let anybody know that i think i'm the best i'm just gonna go out here i'm gonna play my game i'm gonna respect everybody i'm gonna respect the other team's skills i'm gonna respect my teammates skills i want to help my teammates get better too i want them i know i can control this game i want them to get in and help control this game with me I want, I want to make other people better as well as making myself better. The biggest thing, I'm going to put this out there right now, guys, because I know a lot of people don't even like listening to my boring voice until the end of the video. So the biggest thing between confidence and arrogance is, in my opinion, this is my opinion, confidence is quiet. Arrogance is outspoken. A confident person does not walk around with his nose held high. He does not walk around. He doesn't tell anybody how many points he scored last night. He doesn't tell anybody how good he is at basketball. Whereas the arrogant person, he walks around with his nose stuck up, you know. He's like, yeah, 30 points last night. Don't, too bad you guys didn't help me at all. You guys just suck. I'm just, I'm so good. He's like, yeah, I got 30 points, 10 rebounds. I was the best player yesterday, basically. And the confident guy is just like, he, he just doesn't say anything. He lets other people come to him and be like, dude, great game last night. You had 30 points. That was awesome. And he just says thank you and moves on. And then arrogant person will walk around telling everybody. He's like, I scored 30 points last night. And then they'll be like, good job. No one freaking cares. You're so, you're, you're just not fun to be around when you're arrogant. Confident people are so much fun to be around. They're, they mostly, or <laughs> they moistly, that's not a word, silly goose. Um, they basically, um, I don't need, was that, okay, confidence people are fun to be around because they don't let you know their confidence, they're fun to play with because they're good, but they're also not, they're also not going to be rude to you, they're not going to disrespect you, they're going to have respect for everyone around, whereas a self-confidence person only has, res or not a self-confidence, an arrogant person only has respect for himself, doesn't care about anybody else, he's like, this is all me, this team is relies on me, I'm the best player here, I don't care what anyone else says, coach tries to tell me what to do, Pfft. Screw the coach. I'm the best. We're a confident person. He's ready to learn. He's soaking it in. He's getting better, and he's just going to be quiet out there. He's going to go out there knowing he's better. He's going to come off knowing he's the best, but he's not going to tell one person that he thinks he's the best. He'll just be like, he'll just think to himself, I had a good game, but um, yeah, that's it. Arrogant person goes out there. He'll let every player on the know, I'm coming for you. I'm better than you. I'm going to beat you right now. And then he'll end up, He if he wins, he'll rub it in the dude's face the whole time. He'll be like, I am so good. I'm just... 
I'm just the best. No one can stop me. And that is just, that is just, I know everyone here knows someone that is arrogant. And do you like being around that person? I guarantee you don't like being around that person. Now, arrogance was one thing I had a huge problem with when I was younger. I was so arrogant all the time. I still might be. I don't know. I hope I'm not. I try not to be. But I, it's just people, you can just see the look in people's eyes. You're just like, my parents used to tell me all the time. They're like, dude, Connor, stop being so prideful. That's ridiculous. Just stop. No one likes that. No one, no one enjoys being around an arrogant person so i've tried to turn around guys you just gotta just gotta keep it in you might think you're the best but you don't have to let anybody know let your play do your talking let your drawing do your talking let whatever you're doing your schoolwork do your talking for you actions before words guys actions before words and in in psalm god says he says a haughty spirit comes before a fall or a prideful spirit comes before a downfall that's i mean what that's awful if you're prideful you're going down that's basically what i say you are going down but one of my favorite verses which i'll have at the end of this video it says oh crap proverbs 18 12 before a downfall a man's heart is prideful but humility comes before honor this is another thing it's basically saying the same thing before humility comes honor when you're not bragging about yourself comes honor prideness leads to a downfall hope you guys gained something from this uh hope you enjoyed it and i will see you when i see you adios